Well, spring is here and the weather is warming up. Many of us will be spending more time in some of Boston's most beloved treasures like our city parks. Elizabeth Visa, executive director of the Friends of the Public Garden, joins us. Thank you, Liz, for coming to talk to us so early Thank on you. A Great Saturday. to be here. Tell us about the Friends of the Public Garden. You've been around for quite a while. Yes, we have. Uh, we've been around since 1970. Mm -hmm. We are the oldest parks advocacy organization in the region and one of the oldest in the nation. Oh. We were begun when these parks were almost beyond saving. It's hard to imagine, but when you think back, they were in dire shape in mm -hmm. 1970. So we worked long and hard as an essential partner with the city to restore them, bring them back to where they are today. We work on all three parks, the Boston Common, the Public Garden, and Commonwealth Avenue Mall. And you have a number of events that people can help support and go out and enjoy the parks starting with the swans are coming back soon the swans are coming back um, Patriots Day look <laughs> forward to that it's wonderful and uh, everyone loves that um, and the the Paget family has been there since 1877 taking care of the swan boats so we we support them and love them they are the heart of the garden mm -hmm. you know we take care of all 1700 trees in the three parks 42 pieces of sculpture many acres of, of uh, lawns and uh, everyone gets to enjoy beautiful parks Duckland Day is also coming up that's Duckling one of the Day. many popular sculptures. Mother's Day yeah. and it's a, it's a beloved event where kids dress up as their favorite uh, characters from Make Great so for Ducklings sweet. and uh, it's really beautiful. And you then know? this summer you have something very exciting because you are partnering with the city to restore the uh, bronze sculpture at one of the corners of yes. the common. Yes, yes, the Shaw 54th Memorial. Mm -hmm. It is considered the nation's greatest piece of public art. It memorializes the 54th Regiment, who went was a, one of the among the first African American regiments that went south yeah. to fight for their own freedom during mm -hmm. the Civil War. Mm -hmm. So we're working with the city and the National Park Service. We're also working with the Museum of African American History to expand that to be a platform for dialogue about what it's telling us. I know Marita is very excited yes. about this summer, and so are we. How can people support? You also have as if you don't have enough going on, you yes. also have a ball that people can attend. We do. It's a wonderful springtime tradition in Boston. The Green and White Ball is our largest and most important fundraiser. Mm -hmm. It is in three weeks on April 26th at okay. the Four Seasons Boston, cocktails, dinner, and dancing. We encourage people to go to the website, friendsofthepublicgarden.org, and All buy right. tickets. They can also become members. It starts at $25. We have 3,000 members from every neighborhood of Boston, 133 communities in the wow. state, and 34 states in the nation. Just an annual membership. An so annual accessible. annual membership, exactly. All right, Very well, good. make sure you head out and support the parks and be there and be respectable and enjoy them. That's Thank you right. so much for what you do. Public Garden is a very special place for me, so I always love going. Absolutely. For more information, head to the website on your screen, cbsboston.com. We'll be right back.